So here's a summary of the limits that we were able to calculate using L'Hopital or otherwise. So we, if we take a function f divided by g of x, and if f takes the values a, 0, infinity, and g takes the values b unequal to 0, 0, or infinity, then we may discuss what happens if f tends to a and g to b, then we get as a limit a divided by b. If a is divided by something coming close to 0, then we get plus or minus infinity. If a is divided by something that becomes arbitrarily large, then we have as a limit 0. So we may fill the scheme in the following fashion. So we get if f tends to infinity and we divide it by some number g of x which is close to b, then we get plus or minus infinity. Infinity divided by zero, then we get something that will be plus or minus infinity. And the other cases that are remaining are the typical L'Hopital cases. So zero above zero and infinity above infinity. Yes, and in this respect, we could take limits to some fixed point in an interval, or we could uh, uh, take limits to infinity or plus, or plus or minus infinity.